Hey guys, thanks for joining me today for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are going to do a Rainbow Level 10 Lynx Showcase on this LREZA STR Broly, who is an absolute monster. Um, this guy makes me really excited for all of the other LREZAs that are going to come out. Uh, they just made this guy so insane. Um, so we're going to go ahead and look at his passive and everything, and then I'm going to talk about the team that I'm running him on. We're just going to run him on one team today um, and talk about the teams I actually wish I could run him on, but, you know, global issues, right? Um, we'll talk about that. So Broly super attack, basically he raises attack and defense for one turn, and he does colossal damage to all enemies. That's his 12 key. Um, his 18 key uh, does attack and defense for one turn and does mega colossal damage to the enemy. Um, when we look at his passive, he gets attack and defense plus 50%, plus an additional attack and defense 50%, and launches an additional super attack when performing a super attack. Key plus 5 when there is a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans category enemy. Attacks effective against all types and guaranteed to hit when there is a Goku's family category enemy. And we're going to run an event, the legendary Goku event, where he's going to be able to activate all of that. But his passive... They basically just made him like the perfect world tournament unit. They fixed all of his issues. He gets key now. He can even get effective against all types, so he can kill all the AGL units that would give you problems before. And then when you're using him outside of world tournament and when you can actually have full leader skills, uh, this guy does really, really insane damage. Now, Broly, originally I had him built with 20 crit, as you can see there. Um, AoE units, it is really important that they have a lot of crit because you want to be able to crit on as many of those enemies as possible but then I decided to go in and give him some additional with his equips because what's so broken about him is he's going to do the AoE attack or he might do he could do like a single target attack if he does the 18 key and then he's always going to follow up with the AoE attack um, and then with giving him some extra combo attack he could get a third super attack and just do like ridiculous insane amounts of damage right um, so you can see I went ham on, on his skill orbs. I gave him tons of combo attack. I wanted him to be really balanced where he could combo and crit uh, as much as possible. Now, in terms of the team build, I am going to run him on the revenge team. The revenge team isn't like the most ideal team, but I want to run Broly with this tech Broly. I think this tech Broly is going to be his best friend. Um, they're a great rotation together, and they both do just a truck ton of damage, right? Um Ideally, what I run him on right now is uh, the Resurrected Warriors team, and I did want to run that for this showcase, but I really wanted him on a 170 lead, and the physical Angel Frieza, who's probably the best Resurrected Warriors leader right now, is only a 150 lead. I did try to put it together with the old, the Int Angel Golden Frieza, just so I could get the Resurrected Warriors with a 170 lead, but, you know, friend system issues. I just sat here and refreshed for like, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, could not get that. Um, the other issue on Global is that we don't have the same name update yet. So obviously what I want to run is I would want to run him on the Planetary Destruction lead uh, or movie bosses. Like Planetary Destruction or movie bosses, like those are more ideal teams I feel like for this Broly setup. But the problem is, is that you need to run more of the same name Broly to be able to keep this rotation together. Because either this Broly is going to conflict with one of the leaders or this Broly is going to conflict with one of the leaders. So until the same name update, I can't really run that. Um, one perk, though, of this Bardock uh, Revenge team is it is a key four lead, which is really good for the LR unit. So I actually don't mind that. And I actually really like the Bardock. So I hope Bardock gets some more love in the future. I really hope Dokkan just fixes the friend system. Um, you, we all know that's what everybody wants fixed. Like, let us just mirror our own cards or something. Because there's so many, like, fun and unique teams, and you just can't even run them, right? Now, unfortunately, here, my Brolies are about as split up as they can be. So it's going to be a while till we see them together. Um, and I know it seems kind of weird. Um, Bardock is a transforming unit. And I want to keep all of my... Um, I want to keep all of my supports floating around. So I'm actually going to run the Bardocks on rotation together to start, even though they don't link. Eventually, one of my Bardocks will transform, and then they will link together. But the double Bardock rotation is actually what I want to do. That way, I can keep my floating supports, and I don't have like a, a Bardock floating around that's not supporting the Broly. So that's what I'm going to try to do here. Early on in the event, it should be fine. And Bardock is a defense stacking unit anyways, so I can let them both kind of stack up on the same rotation. 
and they should be able to beef up enough that we won't be in too much trouble later on in the event. And I did bring items too. Um, I'll use items if I feel like I'm going to die on a rotation. But once we get the full Broly swing going, uh, this legendary Goku event is not going to last very long against us. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, uh, let's see. I'm going to actually let this Broly go off rotation and then that'll probably be the quickest way to get them together because the other ones yeah i'm gonna get this broly off rotation right away no i gotta keep him on because the bardock rotation is already set so i'm just gonna keep this one on and then we'll go from there now i also want to highlight this frieza here i really like this frieza and i think he's underrated and check out that sticker by the way like fantastic sticker i've said this in previous videos but like the just regular banner units have really good stickers. Like, this is one of my favorite stickers. If you haven't put one on this guy, I recommend it. It's a great sticker. But um, this guy's also a defense stacking unit. And what some people forget, he's actually a support unit. He's 30% attack and defense for target Goku. And both those Brolies are target Goku. So I really like having this guy around with the Broly. So I'm going to just run this for now. Um, and what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to throw... Um, I know it's Broly Showcase, but I'm going to throw uh, Frieza in front just so he can get a stack in. Uh, Frieza will probably kill him, but if not, um, Broly's going to annihilate him. Um, so we'll just go through here. And I kind of want to highlight that Broly rotation anyways, but um, Broly will still hit really hard even though he's not like fully linked up with the other Broly. Oh, he lived. Okay, and then Broly 5 mil. So that's like a pretty non-optimized 5 mil. I mean, we did have two supports. But his, he was not linking up very well at all with those units. And keep in mind, that's one of two guaranteed super attacks. All right, so now what i got to do is i got to pull the tech one off rotation. And then uh, eventually we'll get them together here, right? All right, we're going to have the Bardox attack. Let's look at the Bardox just for fun. Um, yeah, 140, 150k defense, and they're stacking. So they are, they're really good. I like the Bardox, you know, like they're definitely like... Not as crazy as like the newest units, but I like him. And when he transforms and he's against like a Frieza unit, he can actually do some really insane damage. What I was really hoping for, you know, they just came out with the GT Legendary Goku event. I really thought they were going to do these um, Legendary Goku event type things more frequently. And I really thought the second one they were going to do would be like a Frieza. Like he would make a ton of sense to do just like a long transforming Frieza event. And then I was like so excited to bring this Bardock in. And just let him stack defense. Let him go Super Saiyan. Let him just do guaranteed crits on that Frieza and just go crazy, right? Um, but that hasn't happened. And they actually did another Goku. So it makes me wonder if like they're only going to do like various legendary Goku events. I don't feel like that would be the way to go, though. I really hope that they uh, do someday do a Legendary Freeze event. All right, let's check, check out the Broly again. So, link-wise, like I said, he's only getting Fierce Battle here. And he's at 125k defense. And on an 18k, he does get more defense. So, a lot of people see this Broly as, like, strictly an offensive unit. But he can hold his own defensively, depending on the event you're going into. Now, if you're doing like the God event or like the GT Goku event, he definitely can get hit really hard. Um, and he doesn't like permanently stack or anything. But th the way you run this Broly, uh, and let's see here, yep, 5.23. So, so literally like the exact same attacks that we had. Um, the way you play this Broly is you annihilate them so fast that they don't even get a chance to hit you. So this rotation um, in Super Battle Road will absolutely annihilate and just crush everything. All right, so we got the Bardock transformation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform my Bardock, which is rainbowed. He is not level 10 links, but he is rainbowed. And then now he will link up with the other Bardock, so he should be outputting a lot better. And we'll check the defense of uh, both of the Bardocks here. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so for the non-transformed one, 230k defense. So we're going to let him be the tanker, and we'll tank type disadvantage here probably just fine. And then I'm going to let the Super Saiyan Broly, if he gets a hit in, he's going to hit pretty hard. It will be type disadvantage, though, so he's going to need a crit. So Goku very easily could survive this turn. Uh, so, yeah, 2.7. Uh, if you notice before the Bardocks were linked up, he was only hitting like 1.6. So linking is just so important. Yeah, 2.7. Like that's not bad for this Bardock, non-transformed, and he's a defensive unit. 
this Bardock, I think, is pretty underrated. Like, I never see people run him, and I actually really like the Bardock. And then, yeah, 2.75 from this guy. Once again, he um, does a lot better if he is going against a Wicked Bloodline unit. But um, you can definitely use him outside of that. Like, these aren't bad numbers here. His animations are pretty sweet, too. And I'll actually check next time. I don't remember if I put a sticker on my Bardock. Maybe we'll look at that. I kind of think I did put a sticker on him. We'll check it out on the next turn here. And then we should have our Broly's finally as well. Okay. Uh, so they're going to line up for the first time. And this guy gets his just gigantic nuke active skill. Which routinely can be over 10 million. So this is a nice rotation here. So let's go ahead and let's just check out that Bardock really quick. Um, so yeah, I did put a sticker on him. So yeah, not too shabby. It's not the best though. Like definitely not as good as that Frieza. Like it's pretty underwhelming actually. Um, but yeah, Dokkan Fest, just get the shaft on stickers. So now you can see they share every link perfectly. Berserker, we potentially could see later, later on if we take a hit. So I'll try to get that lined up for us at some point. Now, since the showcase is on the, uh, strength Broly, we're going to let him attack first. Tech Broly would absolutely crush. Um, at some point, we'll unleash that active skill, though. Um, defensively, you can see uh, at 118k and then 77k for the Tech Broly. Doesn't seem that crazy, but they do get defense on Super Tech, so they're not as bad as you would think. Um, so Strength Broly, <laughs> this is going to be a nice attack stat because we do have that Frieza supporting on the end there. And defensively, where's Frieza at? 142 isn't bad, and we're not prioritizing his stacking. But if you prioritize him stacking, that Frieza can uh, do very well defensively. So here we go, 6.87. Um, and he's going to have a guaranteed second super attack. We probably won't see it here. Nope, because <laughs> he's going to absolutely annihilate Goku. All right, so hopefully we can get... Um, the Broly's earlier on when the Goku isn't so damaged. I, I know the UI Goku should be able to take a couple hits and maybe will dodge for us. Uh, we'll see there. Let's see how Bardock's doing. Yeah, 300k for the stacking one. So, uh, yeah, you can very safely leave a Bardock non-transformed and do very well. Um, after thinking about it, I probably should have saved those Tech Orbs. Actually, no. The Tech Broly doesn't need them, and he's not the focus anyways. He's got his active skill if I really want to go ham. Um, so, yeah, 2.4 here from this uh, Bardock again. Um, we'll see how much we can take down on this Goku. Yeah, he should easily survive this unless the Transform Broly just goes crazy. Or the, sorry, the Transform Bardock. If he goes crazy with like double super, double crit, he could maybe take this, this Goku out. Let's see. Okay, oh no, even with the double crit, he wouldn't have done it. So, um, now in this next one, Broly's going to have type disadvantage for the strength one, which is kind of a good thing because... I wouldn't mind taking some damage because I want to try to get Berserker active. And then um, ho hopefully he can survive enough that we can maybe even see the Tech Broly get a hit in, right? Um, so I'm going to grab this. This should be a full 24 key super. We have the cooler supporting on the end. Um, this Tech Broly is going to... Tech Broly is absolutely going to annihilate the Goku if he survives. But let's see what happens. I'm hoping we can at least see uh, two super attacks from this first Broly. So 6.87 again, very consistent. And let's see, no crit, no P crit, and oh my gosh, yeah, like a 5.2 million crit there on that AGO Goku. So he's out of there. Um, oh, and you know what? I'm foolish because I think he had super effective, or he had effective against all types anyways, because we're fighting a Goku family unit. So never mind. Uh, he had no chance of surviving that <laughs> that uh, strength Broly, and he didn't attack in the first slot, so I didn't take damage. All right, Bardock's left type disadvantage here. 340k defense for the stacking one. We'll let him just keep stacking away and make sure we're fine defensively. Um, the Bardock in the middle definitely could get hurt. But we're at full health, and I would actually like to get us into to a Berserker range if possible. I think for Berserker, we just have to get down to 70%. So let's see what happens. Um, no crit, hopefully, so he can stay alive. Yeah, no damage there. So yeah, these Bardocks aren't going to do much unless they crit, which is fine. I want to have Broly have a turn with some full health here on a Goku. Uh, 2.4 mil. So yeah, I mean, definitely with the Bardocks, you can you can tell they definitely aren't up to par with like newer Dokkan Fest. I would say Bardock came out like just before the big power creep started happening. I think he came out before Beerus. I would still consider Beerus one of the the better like power creep Dokkan Fest. He's like the very early phases of that. 
But um, yeah, Bar Bardock just came out right on the tail end of that. But he'll get an easy A someday, and he's he'll be he'll be insane. Dokkan's done so well with easy A's. All right, so um, 118k defense, and then 77, so very similar numbers there. Um, we're gonna get another 24 key super off here. I'm guessing we're gonna be in that you know 6.5 ish range again. Uh, very similar attacks. We got Toa supporting. Yep, 6.8. So exact same attack stat. It's just a matter of how many super attacks can we actually see. Because he's... So, yeah. Okay, we finally got two super attacks. So 3.8 on the second. I'm glad we got that in the video just so that you know what to expect. But you're looking at, like, that's a guaranteed, what, 10.5 million attack stat with the potential for a third. So there's a reason why this LR... Easy a Broly is considered one of the best extreme units in the game. Absolutely crazy. Um, I'm just going to go through with these Bardocks. We're still stacking away, approaching 400k defense. He's not going to take damage. Dolk on attack is fine. Um, this one uh, could take damage, and then Cooler definitely could get hit hard. Um, whatever damage we take, we're just going to heal up from the Dolk on attack anyways. <clears throat> I think once we start getting to the uh, UI Gokus, though, we should hopefully be able to take enough damage to get a Berserker rotation in. Sure, we'll grab everything, do a bunch of damage here. I mean, Bardock, this is not, like, the ideal attacking unit for the Dokkan attack anyways. Uh, 2.7, though, that's not bad for the non transform Bardock. That's not bad at all. That's what happens when you get the stack a little bit. Okay, yeah, there's a big chunk there, 2.75, so yeah. The non-transformed one's all putting the similar damage to the transformed one. And the transformed one I don't think has, I don't think the transformed one is rainbowed. All right. Yeah, I mean, some of these stacking units, like, you almost don't even want to transform them, especially in long events. Okay, this is going to hurt a little bit, but we did have the Dokkan attack. Definitely won't kill us. It's not going to be 400k. 267. It was a nice chunk. Depending on how much we heal, I think we're in Berserker range. That worked out. Oh, I don't like that uh, Broly could take a big hit right away here, but let's see. Oh, we don't have Berserker. What do we need for Berserker? Hold up. I thought it was 70%. Am I crazy? Or are we not under 70%? Oh, it's 50%. Dang. Okay. I thought Berserker was 70 So... What I could do, I believe Berserker can activate mid-battle. So I'm going to actually not use an item. And if Broly takes a super attack right away, one, I hope it doesn't kill us, but it could. Oh, this is kind of risky. You know what? I'm just going to use a King Yama because I, I don't want to die at this point in the showcase. Because we actually could die from a super attack based on how much damage that cooler took. And Broly, um, if it's before he super attacks, it's going to actually hurt really bad. Um, so yeah, let's just let's just attack through here. I think Broly's going to kill the Goku for sure. But uh, let's try to set up maybe next turn we can get something where we just take a little bit less damage. It's going to be hard. Like 50% is a really hard threshold to get. So I get why Berserker is like a dead link. But man, if you can hit it, it's like 30% attack. And I know other people have commented on this, but <clears throat> I think a common take is, is that people wish that they treated it like big bad bosses, where instead of making it go up to 30%, just keep it at 20, but then just take the HP restriction off. That would have been great. Or even if they upped it to like 80%, like big bad bosses was. But yeah, 50%, that's a tough threshold. Um, So this, definitely, we could take the right amount of damage here. Now... My Bardock at 400k defense is going to tank everything in the front, but I'm banking on the Transform Bardock and uh, the Toa, even though they have type advantage, could take enough damage to get us down to 50%. This is actually an ideal setup. So, Because um, I don't think we'll die. Toa on a super attack, would she take more than 293 with type advantage? I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, this Bardock's not going to take anything. So we're safe there. About 2.5 mil damage again. Okay. I would like to get a Berserker turn. So let's see if we can do it. Um, I think Goku supering this Bardock is ideally what I want. Because I am worried about Toa taking too much. Okay. 
Maybe Toa will take one and we'll be okay. Toa might take a decent chunk from normals. Let's see. Because she's not very defensive. Let's see what Toa takes here. Get us down to 50%, but don't kill us, please. Okay, 30-30. Uh-oh. This might do too much. No, we're good. Oh, yes. All right. Berserker turn. Now, here's the thing. I can't heal up. Um, Because if I heal up, we're going to lose Berserker. Okay. So, we're just going to play it really safe. We are going to go King Yama and Whis, and we shouldn't take anything here. Let's do King Yama and Whis. We've got our Berserker turn. Um, I would love... Okay, here's the thing. Just in case Tech Bro... There's no way Tech Broly is going to get a turn, right? I would love to see Tech Broly... I'm going to do it. I would love to see Tech Broly with this active skill with Berserker. There's There's got to be no way, though. There's no way he survives the Strength Broly. So we're going to toss it out there whatever but well he could dodge right so if he dot i actually would like a dodge and then we can see broly's attack stat right so maybe we'll get a lucky dodge here all right let's see what happens this is going to be our best attack stat by far and it's going to be for both broly's this would be a great one to see eight mil that's nice eight mil with berserker that is insane um okay and then 4.5 so what 13-ish mil right there with the potential for a third. Please don't crit. Okay, and then a third. Okay, a third normal. That's fine. Oh, we're going to see the Tech Broly. Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> 12. 12.2. 12. That's pretty good. And my Tech Broly is not rainbowed, by the way. So that could go a lot higher. Nice. We got the Berserker turn. You know what, guys? I There really isn't any point in continuing. We're going to call that the showcase. Um absolutely busted both of these <laughs> broly units so thanks for watching guys we'll catch you on the next video thanks for watching